Hey folks, I'm Jen Foxbot and welcome to MakerQuest. In this episode, I'm going to give you an overview of photovoltaic panels, also known as solar panels. In part one, I'm going to describe what they are, how they work, and just the general basics of how they're rated. In part two, I'll give you an overview of how to size your system, what other components you'll need, and where to look for introductory projects. Okay, let's get started. So to start with the basics, solar panels provide a renewable, clean source of energy that can be used pretty much anywhere on planet Earth and in space. Renewable just means that the source of energy, in this case the sun, can be thought of as essentially infinite. And clean just means that there are no harmful byproducts or pollutants released when the technology is in use. Solar panels can also help mitigate the effects of natural or man-made disasters by providing a backup source of power. First invented by NASA for use as a power source on spacecraft, Solar panels convert visible light into usable electrical energy, and some panels also convert infrared radiation or heat energy into usable electrical energy. They do this using what's called the photoelectric effect. In the photoelectric effect, photons, or light carriers, knock into electrons in the atoms of the solar cell. When they do this, they transfer their energy to the electrons and allow the electrons to break free of their bond with the atoms. This creates a bunch of free electrons within the solar cell. By using special materials called semiconductors and arranging them in very specific ways, it sets up an internal electric field within the solar cell. And so this causes the electrons to flow towards one side of the solar cell, setting up an internal current within the cell anytime that it's in the sun. So then when you connect a device or a load to your solar cell, the current in the solar cell flows into that device. Solar panels are rated by their DC or direct current power output. Power is typically given in units of watts, which are energy over time. So basically, when you have a power rating of your solar panel, that tells you how much energy you can provide to your system over time. So the panel that I have here, this one, is a 10 watt solar panel, which means that in full sun, the panel has a maximum power output of 10 watts. You'll also want to pay attention to the open circuit voltage of your solar panel, um, which is basically just the maximum amount of voltage that your panel can output uh, when there's no device or load connected. The maximum amount of current that your panel can output is called the short circuit current, and that's usually listed on the back of your panel or it's given by the manufacturer in the technical specifications. You can also calculate this by using the power equation, power equals current times voltage. Since the sun doesn't always shine, the best way to use solar panels is in conjunction with a set of batteries, like this one. So then the panel charges the batteries, and your batteries power your system whenever you need it. Okay, I'll leave part one there for now. Check out part two for an overview on how to size your panel and your battery system, what other components you'll need, and suggestions of how to get started using solar panels. Please let me know if you have any questions, and thank you for watching.